Well, my mother was an art teacher, and her philosophy of art was that it's a human need, that all humans need to express ourselves creatively. But most people are shut down early. Someone looks over your shoulder and says, well, you can't draw a horse that looks like a horse, so don't think of being an artist. And so most people think that art is for professionals and that they're not good at it and impoverish their lives by not practicing painting or dancing or singing or uh, playing the piano. And I, I think that's a, a, a great loss for all of us, but also for individuals, the reasoning part of our intelligence is very important, but it's only part. And in fact, in some ways, it's not the most human part. People were, were drawing horses on cave walls before they were writing things. In fact, even before humans, our, 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 our primate ancestors were decorating tools before they were speaking to each other. So the, the need to explore and, and decorate, I think, is something that's very deeply human. It has to do, I think, with the fact that we've got these hands that are are ideally configured to grasp things, and we've got these binocular eyes, and they can work together, and we make tools, and um, we do things instrumentally. We make spears so that we can go hunting, but we also do things in, in a sacred sense. We make patterns because they seem meaningful. To us, they make us feel in a certain way. They they point to something larger that we can't describe in words. So I, I think that people have some comfort and pleasure and learning in their lives if they sketch or finger paint or tap dance or do something that doesn't have a, an instrumental purpose that they do just because it makes them happy.